Oh. Yeah! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> What's going on guys, if you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code it resolves 10 yp for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to yet another standard gameplay video. I hope you guys are doing exceptionally well today. I want to remind you before we jump into today's absolutely ridiculous deck uh, that we do have a giveaway going on right now. It started last week for Streets of New Capenna. We're giving away a draft booster box like we did with Kamigawa. You have two months to enter. We're not giving this away until uh, after the release on April 29th. So you've got plenty of time. I think it's the week after that. Uh, but I do want to remind you, subscribing is one way to enter, so please do uh, remember to do that. Uh, hit that little subscribe button. If you would like to really support the channel, there is a join button. You can join our membership. That not only gives you extra entries into all of our giveaways, including the Streets of New Capenna giveaway, however, uh, it also allows you emotes, things like that, that you wouldn't normally get. So please do check that out. Don't feel pressured. It's just an option for you. But uh, let's talk about today's deck, guys. This is... Um, uh, my own creation um and i hesitate to put my name on it but uh it is my own creation and it is based around eater of virtue and pyre of heroes so the way eater of virtue works brand new equipment from kamigawa uh i should say at this point too this is very much a test version of this deck it's not very good we're gonna try it but i don't think it's very good uh eater of virtue is uh, artifact equipment for one mana you can equip it for one uh, whenever the equipped creature dies, you exile it, uh, which is very key, but you, uh, the equipped creature gets plus two plus zero, and then as long as Eater of Virtue has a, an, a card exiled with Flying, uh, First Strike, Double Strike, Death Touch, Haste, Hexproof, Indestructible, Lifelink, Menace, Protection, Reach, Trample, or Vigilance, or any combination of those, <laughs> The equipped creature also gains all of those abilities, which I thought was a really cool card. We've had things kind of like this before, uh, but what we do get to do is throw this in with Pyre of Heroes, which says tap it, tap it, tap uh, two lands, sacrifice a creature, search your library for a creature card that shares a creature type with it, uh, mana value equal to one plus that creature's mana value, put it onto the battlefield, and then shuffle. You can only do that as a sorcery, just to clarify. But what if and hear me out <laughs> what if we had a warrior style equipment deck that had a lot of keywords in it that we can then basically graft onto uh some bigger creatures later on down the road right like what if what if we could do that uh so we're trying it um it's not very good but we're gonna give it a shot you'll notice we're playing a lot of like not great creatures solely because they have keywords <laughs> uh and we don't really care if they stick around that long uh, we've got Moth Rider Patrol, uh, a flyer for one. That flying is pretty key, though. Uh, in the two-drop slot, we've got Core Blade Master, which actually is a good card for the deck. We've got Twin Blade Ga uh, Geist, not so good because unfortunately, when this dies with the Eater uh, of Virtue, it's just gone. We can't disturb it back out. Uh, we've got Sigrid, <laughs> God favored, uh, Flash First Strike, which is good, and Protection, uh, and then Shatter Skull Charger, which is really bad. Trample and Haste. Uh, but we do have a Kiri, uh, Fearless Voyager, which is just a great card. Uh, and then at the top, we of course have Nahiri to throw out some of these little 1-1 one -one White Warrior tokens so that we can kind of restart the chain if we need to. Uh, Eater of Virtue, obviously, is a 4 of Resolute Strike. This is kind of nice because it is a nice little combat trick for us, uh, and it attaches the Eater of Virtue to something. Uh, Fighter Class going to hopefully search out that Eater of Virtue and then make it free to equip, which is really nice. Valorous Stance, just going to give something indestructible or destroy stuff, depending on how we need to uh, play it. And that's it. That's the deck. It's not very good, guys. We're we're testing. We're having some fun. We are not worried about how good this deck may or may not be. We are just going to have a good time with this one. It's a little silly, I know, but I want to give it a shot because I do think, you know, while this is a bit of a silly kind of janky combo, I do think it'd be kind of fun to try and pull it off. And so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to try. If it doesn't work that's cool we're just gonna hang out and play some magic have a fun day so hopefully hopefully you guys will uh stay with me on this little silly journey that we're gonna have here and hopefully it'll work out and we'll at least get one win but 
guys again make sure you subscribe to the channel and let's go ahead let's jump into game number one all right guys here we are for game number one and truthfully this isn't a terrible starting hand we're missing the pyre of heroes but we do have a one drop into the eater of virtue that we can then equip up obviously on turn two so i mean we'll see uh it's not exactly ideal but uh we'll <laughs> we'll see what happens uh again guys we may just outright lose every single game today, but you know what? It's cool. We're here to deck test. We're here to have some fun and see if it works out. So that is all that matters. Um, and there's the Pyre of Heroes. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll take it. So what we're gonna try and do is go ahead and equip this up. I don't know if they may just kill it here, but it looks like they're not, and we'll just get in for three. So now at the very least, if they do kill the Moth Rider Patrol, it will still get that flying ability uh, attached to it, which is gonna be really helpful for us. Uh, looks like seize the spoils. Okay, Pox roll. Interesting. Um, let's see what we want to do. Um, we do get to leave up this if we would like to, uh, which I'm not actually opposed to doing. Let's go ahead and attack in first. Um, and I'm actually just gonna fighter class, I think. Worth noting, we only have one Eater of Virtue, uh, but this is again gonna potentially make things free for us which is really helpful i'll go ahead and throw out this other moth rider patrol we kind of played this incorrectly truthfully what we should have done is just played maybe the moth rider and left up the valorous stance to give this indestructible but that's okay uh we'll see what happens here i don't expect that this is gonna go exceptionally well for us so that's okay either way um I do think there's something to this deck though you know what i mean like it just seems fun it may not work i don't know but i like to try silly things obviously okay um so we can throw the pyre of heroes out here which is great um and i think we just attack in first Now, again, we've got that Valorous stance to give Indestructible to something if we need to. Uh, do we need to here? You know, we really don't need to. I'm going to just let that happen. I think that's actually okay. So the reason being, um, we have a two drop in our hands. So we can just go ahead and do that. But this gets exiled now. It just has flying uh, on the Eater of Virtue. So I think we're going to be okay there. Um... I'm gonna play out this twin blade geist um not positive that this will work but this does get us to a three drop which is really key for us that's really where we want to be uh if they kill it we can just disturb it back onto something else looks like they've got another cathartic tire that's fine um annoying sure but we can just bring this back um they're gonna field trip cool that's fine uh, and what's nice now, we can actually Pyre of Heroes on the patrol. We don't have to worry about equipping it first since it already has flying. And then we can just equip up the uh, Eater of Virtue on the two drop, which might be just like the Twin Blade Warrior or something like that. Uh, just to go ahead and get double strike on something that then we can, of course, continue the chain onward. Um, I would love to draw a land uh, because that would give us access to do things kind of freely here. But... Um, I think this will work okay all right so first things first though we do have to attack in because there's not going to be a good attack here on with the two drop so let's go ahead and pyre of heroes let's get that bla uh core blade master excuse me let's go ahead and equip that up and now again if this dies double strike is added to the chain so eater of virtue will hopefully <laughs> just keep stacking these you know what i mean <laughs> Um, it'd be great to draw, honestly, what would be kind of nice is uh, Nahiri uh, for a number of different reasons. One, we can just search out some good stuff from our deck, but two, uh, we can even just reset the chains. We can just spit out a little 1-1 one -one and then throw down uh, the Eater of Virtue onto it. Uh, we do kind of want to activate this fighter class just so we can theoretically start equipping this for free. Oh, well, that's really good. Um... All right, let's make sure this taps correctly, though. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> I don't know what happened, but we won. So that's amazing. I will take it. Let's jump into game two. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. And this is a pretty rough hand, so I don't think I'm going to keep this one. 
Uh, I have no idea why we won that first game. I guess they just didn't draw anything. I don't know. <laughs> We're, I'm not expecting any other wins. Uh, I'm gonna mulligan this. Uh, yeah, this is better. It's not great, but it's definitely better. I think we can actually throw a mountain back and be perfectly fine. We've got plenty of land here, so I'm not really worried about that. Um, we've got the core master or the core blade master plus the eater of virtue, which is very, very good. Uh, let's go ahead and throw this out. We'll throw this out. Again, guys, silly, silly deck. We're uh, we're just having some fun today. I do think this is going to be a rougher, a much rougher game. Uh, looks like zombies is the, the play here, which is really good against us. Um, let's go ahead and play that core blade master here. I wish we could already equip up, but we just can't. Thankfully, even if this Blade Master dies, though, we actually can next turn. Um, this actually has double strike if we wanted to, but I'm not going to block. I'm just going to take the two uh, and hope they can't kill the Blade Master, I think. They could have a deadly dispute. They could have really any number of things here. Um, okay, so let's go for the double white. Let's go ahead and equip this up. Um, and I will attack in here. Again, if this dies, it's okay. Um, we still, they're gonna kill this, that's fine. We have another core blade master, but we kind of have to fight through that at some point. So I'm okay with uh, letting that go down. We've got another one. So hopefully they just don't have another uh, shambling gas. That's a really annoying card against us, honestly. There's like not a ton we can do against it, but all right. They hit for two. Interesting the green is in here. I'm assuming that means they've got like Blizzard Brawl maybe, or at least something along those lines. I'm really not sure. Um, let's go ahead and equip this up. This already has double strike, so this really doesn't add that much, but let's go ahead and attack in. And I'm gonna leave up the Seed of the Empire here. Um, as much as I would have loved to have played the Den of the Bugbear so we could use it next turn, I think this is just a better option. <laughs> Um, it's going to allow us to kill something here, most likely. Nice. That's a great card. So, going to just take two. Not going to worry about that. Um, I think the play is just going to be to try and kill this, discarding the, the current, the Eater of Virtue in our hands. Um, when we get to that point. Oh, that's a really good card. But uh, I think the play is to attack. We'll see if they want to block. That's perfectly fine. If they do, we can just kill it. They're going to block here. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, that's cool. So we'll just go ahead and pass the turn, I think. And again, we have the Seat of the Empire to discard to that Westgate Regent. That's such a good card for sure. But I think we can take this out. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. Yes, positive. Uh, we do have to discard the Eater of Virtue here, but that does get rid of that Westgate Regent, and now they lose their entire board, unless they've got a follow-up play, which is fine. Um, but I do think that that's a definite... I mean, that has to be the play. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, annoying. Not the end of the world. We can actually get this back. The fact that they get that Westgate Regent back is really the big problem. Interesting. Um... <laughs> That's very interesting. Uh, can we outpace this? If we activate this, we can't do that. We can throw this out, put the equipment onto it. Um, alternatively, we can Nahiri just to see what we can get off the minus two. Uh, or we can just wait and do this, but then have to discard the Nahiri. I think we do that. Um... I think that has to be the play, sadly. All right, so we do this. Um, we're gonna have to discard the Nahiri to do this, I know, but I think this is just the best bet. And we basically just have to hope they don't have another blood on the snow. Oh man, they've got a binding of the old god. Seriously? Dang it. Um, they just are able to get that back. Wow. Uh, <laughs> well, we can't actually do that. So I think we just have to go this route. Uh, this does have Menace, but they can, of course, block the 1-1. One, one. Oh no, this doesn't have Menace. I thought it... Am I dumb? Well, no, uh, no, it doesn't have Menace. Wow, I am dumb. My fault. It's cool. 
Uh, skeletal swarming is terrible for us. Uh, yeah, we're pretty dead here. Um, we do have another Sigrid. So we can equip this, which has double strike. Uh, yep. Cool. <laughs> uh, we just have to hope Sigrid's enough, I suppose. And maybe they've got the answer, maybe they don't. But at least this slows them down. Uh, yeah. The fact that this has that ward cost of discarding a card is a very annoying prospect. Oh, this has trample. Nope, don't block. And death touch, excuse me. That's what I was more worried about, not the... I have another Westgate Regent? Oh my gosh, stop. <laughs> Land for us is less than ideal. Um, so it really doesn't matter how we do this. They just get to kill us here. Uh, they they want it. Uh, man, we were actually pretty close though, okay? I'm, I'm not upset by that. That's fine. Uh, all right, <laughs> they definitely kill us here. I'm gonna concede, man. We're kind of close. All right, let's go to a game three. All right, guys, here we are for game number three. And this is an interesting hand. Uh, I don't think it's very good, but it does have the fighter classes. So really, it's just a matter of if we can draw a creature. I'm going to try it. You know, we're here for uh, testing theories and having some fun, and that's all I'm trying to do today. So if this doesn't work, it's cool. Um, what we are able to do is go ahead and fetch out the Eater of Virtue. So that does help us out quite a bit. Um, and then everything else here in terms of engine cards is there. It's just a matter of getting the creature and it can be any creature, which is kind of the nice part about this deck is that it really doesn't matter what we get here. We're topping out at three, uh, in terms of creature, um, in terms of, you know, the, the power level of the creatures and the mana cost. So I'm not that worried about it. Um, but certainly want to get something a little cheaper so we can go ahead and play the Eater of Virtue on it. Uh, and get some of the effects starting to stack. Uh, and then, of course, we've got that Pyro of Heroes. It would be nice as well just to go ahead and get that Fighter class to activate. You know what I mean? Like, having that available to us as a freebie to equip is very, very good. Um, there's that Luminarch Aspirant coming down, throwing a counter on itself, which is kind of interesting, but I guess does make some sense. Uh, let's go ahead and throw this out. We'll go ahead and get the red again. Um... I think we Pyre of Heroes and play the Eater of Virtue. This is, again, all of our engine pieces are now on the field. So all we need to do is activate this. That makes this free. And then if we draw a creature, we can use this and sack it. Um, we'll see what ends up happening. But I do think we've at least got all the pieces in place. It's just a creature we need. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll see if we get there. Um, that's terrifying. Um, I'm assuming... Oh, no, they're going to start... I thought they would put counters elsewhere, but that's cool. All right, so we keep drawing land. Um, <laughs> it's not ideal. Um, we'll just activate this. Uh, this is really bad against the Hopeful Initiate. And basically all of what we're doing is really bad against the Hopeful Initiate because they can just start killing stuff. Uh, but we have no creatures. I don't know, man. This... This isn't very good. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, okay. Yep. Cool. Uh, this Valor stance might kill something, so that's good. This is terrible. Um, I mean, we just we're drawing nothing but lands. Uh, I mean, we're dead. We're gonna we're gonna go for one more game. That was awful. We just didn't draw anything. Uh, all right, let's go for a fourth game. Let's see if we can get another win. <laughs> all right, guys, here we are for our fourth game. Definitely our last game. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I'll keep. I don't feel super good about it, but I will uh, give it a shot. We've got the Twin Blade Geist, which is kind of nice because um, in this case, if we sack it to the Pyre of Heroes, we do actually get to replay it, which is cool. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this out. Chances are they're gonna have some like uh, mono colored removal. The I can't think of the name. The two color or the Orzhov card that removes stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Exile stuff. Vanishing burst. Man, I couldn't think of that. Um, 
let's see. So first things first, I think we just attack. See what they do, if anything. May not be. Cool. Um, we do get two damage in with this, which is cool. I'll go ahead and play the Moth Rider Patrol and the Pyre of Heroes out, I think. And yeah, this doesn't mean... Like, we're not going to be able to play Valorous Stance this turn, but I think that's okay. Uh, we can start Pyre of Heroes going next turn and get rid of some of these to hopefully get something a little more powerful. Here's a Righteous Valkyrie. Um, we'll play this out for the land side. Uh, Alright, well, this is kind of interesting. Um, definitely just going to kill the Righteous Valkyrie. That's not a card I want on the field at all. Uh, let's go ahead and attack in. Um, and let's go ahead and do this. I am going to get a 3-drop here. I think that's probably just the best play. Uh, and I think we'll just get Nahiri. We might be able to hit uh, a uh, equipment off of Nahiri here, so I'm kind of hoping that we can get this down, get the Eater of Virtue, and then, you know, get something equipped here, and then we're drawing cards off of a Kiri. We'll see. Not, not super positive on that, but uh, if we get there, great. All right, they've got the kill spell. That's fine. All right. Oh, we just <laughs> we just draw another one. Um, cool. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get Nahiri going here. Uh, and if they do have a vanishing burst, Nahiri is really nice because they can't hit Nahiri with it. Uh, I do really like that. So let's see what we can find. Give me something. Give me an eater. E uh, oh, wow. They just have another. Well, I'm glad we did what we did then. Um, man. Nothing. This sex sucks. Uh, <laughs> cool. Um, all right. So we attack in and that's all we can do. Um, I mean, the good news is they've been very reactive, but this is going to change the math, obviously, quite a bit. A land is helpful. Very helpful, in fact. Uh, let's see. What's the correct play? Um, I think we give this double strike and then leave up either the draw or the resolute strike. We could have attacked in, I suppose, but... They made, they're probably just thinking we're going to crack a clue, uh, which is potentially accurate, but we do have the Resolute Strike, which is going to allow us to block this and just straight kill it. Um, we do have to sack the creature, though. That's the only downside. Um, what's the other option? We just take four. I might just take four. Uh, yeah. This has Vigilance, which is really annoying, but... All right, let's draw a card. Let's see what we get. Oh, man. Come on. Give me something. Um... God, we just have nothing going for us here, do we? Uh... I'm going to crack this other clue. If we get the Eater of Virtue, which we didn't... <laughs> This is terrible. Um, I'm going to attack in and let the Resolute Strike do its deal. Uh, yeah, we have to sack this, but it's fine. Uh, and then just go ahead and play Akiri here. I don't know, man. We're... <laughs> this deck isn't very good. <laughs> the realization is there, uh, just so you guys know. But it's... I don't know. Like... I think the idea behind it is really fun. Somebody who's a much better deck builder than me could probably make this work, but we're just not getting it uh, where it needs to be. We're also drawing, like, really badly. Um, like, really, really badly. I don't know. We just have nothing. Um... gonna attack with these two. 
Yep. They can block one and then we can sack the other one or something. I don't know. I want to keep a Kiri around. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, they have two. Duh. Um, I don't know, man. This is terrible. You know, I thought it would be fun to try something really janky. Oh, look. Stupid freaking card. <laughs> we bet we needed this the entire time. Ugh, not that it would have helped terribly much, but like just being able to equip something up with Akiri, we would have been able to get some card draw at least. And so we wouldn't be top decking right now, which would have been helpful. But the reality is they're just going to kill us with angels. And anytime we kill, you know, something of theirs, we have to then lose life or excuse me, sacrifice two things. So it's just a matter of we can't do it, literally. Uh, they're also gaining life, so it's, yeah, they are. We'll good game them here. Now we get all the stuff. All right, let's talk about this deck. <laughs> all right, guys, so obviously not our best, but you know what? That's okay. Like I said at the beginning, this was, the goal of this deck was just to try something out. There's a very janky combo here, and it didn't really work, and you know what? That's cool. We're here to have some fun. This channel is all about having some fun and trying some stuff out. That's why we do new decks every day so we can test a lot of different things. Uh, and yeah, we could have probably played better. Yeah, this could have been a better deck in like its deck building phase, but that's okay. We're just here to have fun. So I'm, I actually enjoyed it despite only getting one win out of four games. That's more than I expected, so I'm cool with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Again, it's a silly day, I know, but that's okay. Please make sure you subscribe. We do have our giveaway going on right now. We also uh, have other ways to enter, so please check out the video on our landing page here on YouTube for all the details. Uh, but guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, hanging in there on a silly day like today. I hope this was okay for you guys, but uh, t test this deck out. Try it out. See if you can make it better. But until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later.